today we're going to take a step back in time to dig up the history of this beautiful mansion, peeling back the walls to know what happened in this 24,000 square foot home. Why did this mansion sit abandoned for so long? And what are the future plans for this place? Will it be torn down or completed? Stick around to find out. Hi, I'm Zach and welcome to Rooted Expeditions. Hit that thumbs up and let's get started in today's location. On today's episode, we were granted permission to film at one of the most iconic and eye-grabbing mansions in Texas, the Sanger Mansion, which has now become publicly known as the Bella Mansion, which is an unfinished mansion that has been sitting abandoned on and off for over 30 years until it was bought in 2020. If you have ever traveled to or from Oklahoma on I-35, you might have seen this ginormous home sitting up on the hill on the west side of the highway in Sanger, Texas, watching the natural decay that slowly took over the mansion over the years. Many that has passed by would probably wonder why this mansion was never finished and what was its purpose and why was it sitting abandoned? From an old invoice found by the new owners, it would seem that this mansion would have started its construction sometime in the late 1970s. Many might say, no, it started in the early 80s, but documented paperwork states otherwise. The original owners at the time, Joseph and Julie Powell, started the construction of this mansion along with a huge stable on around 70 acres of land. By building this home for Joseph, Julie, and their daughter, they could pursue their passion for raising and selling apple horses. The Appaloosa horses are an American horse breed best known for its colorful spotted coat pattern. Taking one step into this massive building from the front entrance, you would be greeted with this humongous spiral staircase that was made completely from steel. An invoice found shows that the staircase alone in today's dollars cost the Powell family about $1.3 million to build and install. Just past the staircase straight ahead, you will see one of six fireplaces that would leave you in awe. The sitting area wall that the fireplace sits on extends about 25 feet up to the ceiling to the second floor. This is another building that will get your imagination going wild, wondering and trying to piece each floor together guessing what would have been placed there and what it would have looked like, trying to piece it all together as you go from room to room. What do you think and see that some of these rooms could be used for? A library? An office? A room to hide your treasure? Let me know in the comments below what you think. The story goes that Joseph built a stable on the property not far from the home, and it was said that it could house up to a hundred horses with ease. It's also been said that he loved horses so much that he actually built an elevator inside the home, just so he could take the horses up to the third floor, which was also known to some as the party floor. Yes, you heard me correctly. This floor was to entertain guests as he would auction off their Appaloosa horses to potential buyers that came later on. He would take them to the third floor or the party floor, get the potential buyers filled with alcohol to get a good bidding war going and sell off the horses. Then in the early 1980s, an unfortunate turn of events took place when Joseph and Julie got a divorce. Some say that when Julie left, Joseph began to drink a lot and detached from the outside world and after the divorce was final, this would lead to the construction of the mansion coming to a halt. The mansion would sit abandoned until the early to mid 1990s when John W. Porter came in to buy this mansion and planned to continue the construction. From what was said, John had plans to turn the mansion into a restaurant on the first floor and then offices on the upper floors. They removed about a thousand square feet from the original 25,000 square foot home to try to fit their needs in this building for the restaurant and offices. Then, one day, while at the mansion during construction, a tragic end came to John W. Porter when he had a heart attack in the driveway. Soon later at the hospital, John died and the construction stopped once again between 2001 and 2002. The mansion was set abandoned until 2020 when Lena and Kenneth Ramey bought the mansion. The mansion was then handed over into the care of their daughter Isabel Ramey. The mansion will now be used to mainly host wedding venues along with other events that might be held at this new and improved mansion. Isabel stated in a Denton RC News article, and I quote, I want to go in and make it something everyone in the community can be extremely proud of, unquote. Hence why this mansion has become quickly known as the Bella Mansion. 
Isabel and a close friend of the family, Kevin Martin, have been working very hard with architects and getting permits approved to get the mansion finished and up and running in the year 2023. Kevin has been overseeing the construction and maintenance on the property. The rock stone on the outside covering 80% of the exterior had to be taken down. They removed over 400 tons of stone as it was deemed unsafe and falling down as the weather over the years had ruined the supports on the backing of the stone. This place came with a three-car garage, which back then a three-car garage was a lot. As for a normal home, you would see a one-car garage or at the most two. That's even if a house had a garage. There was a plumber that came forward and said back in the 70s, the original owners picked out and ordered gold-plated plumbing fixtures to be used throughout the house. Yes, gold-plated. Unfortunately, they were never installed. This would have been cool to see. This mansion has finally found hope in being restored and put to use for the community. Isabel's dream will become a reality. They have already started on the landscape on the now nine acres of land that the mansion sits on, growing its own grapes which accents the mansion really well. It's said that hopefully they will be able to one day use their own grapes to harvest to make their own wine and have it as an option for their guests at the events that they will be hosting. If you're looking to get married, this might be the place for you. In the meantime, there is zero tolerance for trespassing here. There have been new cameras put in place around the property and inside the mansion, not to mention the now constant patrol of police and security around this property. They will not hesitate to take you to jail for trespassing. If you are interested and you would like the opportunity to see this mansion, I will leave details in the description below, but this will be until they get closer to the finish of the mansion. Isabel and Kevin stated that anyone who is interested in seeing this place should contact them so that they can come out and take a look around. That does it for today's history. Hit that thumbs up. Peace, I love you, and as always, God bless.